and hello YouTube we're here doing some network testing this is day number four with me being in Orlando Florida and I've noticed something very weird here at the Airbnb that we're staying especially for the whole neighborhood so when I first got here I thought it might have been a hiccup but it's happening very more often so I got here and the internet kept going in and out. Now I thought it might have been just, you know, the local Wi-Fi, but it started affecting the cell carriers also. So the Wi-Fi went out and all three cell carriers got affected at the same time. So here where we're at it is uh, from the looks of it is spectrum uh, internet. So I've been getting very wonky cellular data from all three carriers. Now, the thing is, is each one is doing it a little bit differently than the other. So same exact spot. I'm sitting outside today. But it's been going in and out recently. And I'm looking to keep um, an eye on what's going on, as you can see. So this one's Verizon. Verizon aired out. AT&T is on the right-hand side. Their performance was way different than day number one and T-Mobile's performance been jumping up and down all day so network backhaul is a reliability issue here in Orlando from what I could tell let's do that one again it clammed on to the uh, Wi-Fi As you can see, I think on AT&T, the first day, I was getting like 60 or 70. Now I'm at 19. Verizon is like 200. Now granted, that could come from usage and people on the network. And T-Mobile's been up and down. So when we talk about reliability, are we talking about reliability of the cellular network itself or the backhaul that provides data to them? because the signal's not changing. So you can have very bad performance and it could be the service provider for said network. And the said network can be all wonky also. So if all three of them are using uh, Spectrum and Spectrum goes down, does that say that reliability is bad for AT&T if it's affecting all three. These are some of the things, some of the questions I have about when you start doing network testing. You really have to sit at a location, maybe even come back a couple of days and do a couple of network tests, record what you have and be able to find out whether or not is it the network itself or the or the RSRP values changing. Are you losing cellular bands? Are you gaining cellular bands? Is it, you know, changing across the board? Or is it reliability on the uh, service provider? Because Verizon is not, is obviously not providing their own backhaul at this location. It's being provided by Spectrum. Same thing for AT&T, same thing for T-Mobile. They're getting their reliability from uh, spectrum currently right now so these are some of the things that I have I've been tr scratching my head on especially the last couple days the performance difference is drastic I'm going from three to four hundred megabits per second down to barely being able to open a web page and I'm sitting in the same exact spot not moving so from day to day one day is full speed as you can see 
And then the next day, it's lower. at and is taking the, the bigger brunt of this. They were doing, I say 60 or 80. Verizon is middle of the road and T-Mobile was the most drastic. So I don't know, we can say that the networks are the, the blame anymore. So I just wanted to um, do this video. This is uh, my initial impressions for day number four here in Orlando. I'm doing some more network testing, but I'm in the same exact spot. I want to find out from y'all if you experienced something similar. You know, record what you um you re you get when you're on home, and then go back later and do it again and see are you seeing major fluctuations? It could be the backhaul for said network. So. Thank y'all for watching, like, share, and subscribe, and we can have a bigger conversation about what's going on with these cellular networks. And, and what what are you seeing at, at your home? Thank y'all, and y'all have, have a good one.